This is Frankie Ketafias with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, good morning, Idaho, and happy Tuesday. We are one day closer to the weekend. I know it's still the beginning of the week, but we have something to look forward to, right? One day checked off off that calendar. Taking a look at those current conditions this morning, there's that live look at downtown Boise. Still very dark. Nice little skyline, though. 38 degrees is that temperature, and we have a wind out of the northwest moving at about 9 miles per hour. Elsewhere, we're seeing some of those wind speeds are a little bit stronger, like in Ontario. We have a pocket of about 17 mile per hour winds, 16 down towards Mountain Home, and just behind me towards Idaho Falls, about 21 miles per hour. This is the wind speeds, not the wind gusts. Now this is impacting the feels like temperature. Sure, you could open up your iPhone and you could see what the temperature is. You could look at your weather app. It'll tell you what the temperature is, but it's really important to know what it feels like because that's going to dictate whether or not you maybe need a scarf, gloves, beanie, maybe a second jacket. 31 is what it feels like in Boise, 34 in Ontario. It's in the single digits if you're waking up in Stanley this morning. So again, it's very important that you understand what it feels like versus what it says it is on those apps. Now looking at your day at a glance, the silver lining is we are going to be sunny and clear throughout most of the day. Those wind speeds though are still going to be a headline for today. So even though we're seeing temperatures will be up into the 50s, it's still going to remain much cooler, at least feeling much cooler. Now we do have dry conditions for today, but as we move into our Wednesday, we're going to see that those conditions, well, they start to get a little wet. We have a system that comes from the Gulf of Alaska. It pushes itself eastward and you can see that at about 8 a.m. We'll see that there's going to be some snow in southwestern portions of Idaho, but by the time it makes itself towards our valley regions, it's going to be translating into a lot of rain. Snow into the Oregon border. Once it crosses over, it'll be a second of snow and then, like I said, turning into rain. But as quickly as it comes in, it gets itself right out and we look to have a clear Thursday and then a clear Friday and really going into the weekend, looking to have some favorable conditions. But bringing it back to now to Tuesday, here's a look at some of those high temperatures, mostly sunny conditions. All these temperatures that you're seeing, though, again, the wind is the headline. Wind chill is a factor. Northwest winds moving at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, depending on where you're at. Wind gusts, though, up to 35 miles per hour. And the West Central Mountains, we're going to see that those high temperatures are anywhere going to be from about 47 degrees. Could even be about 53 degrees. So really, again, just depends where you are. Sunny conditions, wind's not going to be too much of a factor. As we head into our East Central Mountains, we're going to see partly cloudy conditions. High temperatures of about 42 in Stanley, 47 though if you're going to be in Fairfield. And then making our way into the Magic Valley, there is a good chance that like yesterday, you could be waking up to some snow this morning. We will be dealing with the wind out of the west for at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So all of these temperatures like the Treasure Valley are likely going to feel just a little bit cooler throughout the day. Now laying it all out on that seven day forecast, we have that windy Tuesday, that wet Wednesday, and then Thursday is when we're going to see a nice little change in that weather pattern where we're going to start to see the sun's coming up, conditions are dry, and those temperatures are even starting to warm up ever so slightly. By the time we get to this weekend, we're looking at the mid to high 60s.